Have you heard about the helium shortage? Well, if you haven't, you're about to find out about it the next time you try and buy some helium. So there's a helium shortage in the world, and uh, there's a sort of a complex discussion as to why it's there, but uh, uh, first couple of statements. Helium is a non-renewable natural resource. All the helium we have on this planet was made by Mother Nature herself 30 million years ago uh, in the belly of the Earth from nuclear decay. So we have this stockpile of helium, we'll never get any more, and helium has this uh, a terrible characteristic of what's called an escape velocity. So if you've got a big pocket of helium underground, you poke a hole in the ground, the helium escapes and it goes to outer space. Nothing else does that, right? I mean, if you poke a hole in a lake, the water doesn't go to the moon, does it? So we have a limited amount of helium. We're running out of helium. It's becoming more expensive. They're starting to ration the amount of helium we get. So how can we deal with that as chromatographers? Remember in gas chromatography, the primary carrier gas is helium here in the United States. About 80% of all GCs run helium. So what if we had to switch away from helium? Or what if you want to switch away from helium? We have a couple of alternatives. Hydrogen is an excellent alternative. It's our favorite, it's all chromatographers favorite because it will give us better chromatography in a shorter amount of time compared to helium. Our other option is nitrogen. Nitrogen is not as good uh, in terms of what's called efficiency, in terms of generating skinny peaks. So from a chromatographic perspective, we love the idea of switching to hydrogen. So uh, if you're interested in this, I did an entire video, how to switch from helium to hydrogen in one simple step. Uh, it's about a 45 minute video. It's, it's on our uh, website, you could uh, check it out. It's excellent because we actually do, I stand in front of a GC and we actually change the GC in real time from helium to hydrogen and show you how to do it. So when I wrote the first version of that, I joked that the name was how to switch from helium to hydrogen in three easy steps. And after writing it, I realized there's only one step. So here's how to switch from helium to hydrogen. Step one, make the switch and tell the GC you made the switch. The GC needs to know what your carrier gas is because based on uh, the, the viscosity of that carrier gas, based on the diffusivity, it will change the way it sets, it sets its parameters, it sets its pressure. So tell the GC you're using hydrogen, switch to hydrogen, that's all you need to do. If you simply do that, you will get the exact same chromatography, the same retention times, the same efficiencies, the same areas, the same everything um, by using hydrogen. If you want to take advantage of the fact you're using hydrogen, if you want to play the smart role, then what you want to do is switch to hydrogen and then double your linear velocity. People think of that as a flow rate through the column, but essentially linear velocity is a much better term. If you double your linear velocity, you will cut your analysis time in half and still get the same results. So, uh, let me just recap that for you. If you wanna to switch to hydrogen, simply switch. Make the switch, tell the GC on the front panel, I've switched to hydrogen, and from then on, don't make any other changes. Everything will work fine. If you wanna take advantage of the fact that hydrogen gives skinnier peaks, then we can double the linear velocity and get the same results in half the time. So when you switch to hydrogen, one of my biggest uh, 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 ideas is, or recommendations, is to use a hydrogen generator. Because switching to hydrogen, getting hydrogen cylinders, uh, those are dangerous because it's an explosive uh, material. But if you get a hydrogen generator, then there's nothing explosive. It just, it's just water. In fact, we, we call ours a house plant. There's a plant sitting on top of it because once a week we dump a, a pitcher of water in it and that's all we do to maintain it. So this thing will generate high purity hydrogen, seven nines, 99.99999% hydrogen. It generates it at 1300 mils a minute, at 175 PSI. So essentially all 15 of my GCs are being supplied by this one hydrogen generator for fuel. Now we could also use that same hydrogen for carrier gas. So I have a couple of my GCs that I've uh, uh, hooked up with valves in the back so we could switch back and forth from helium to hydrogen. So if you wanna learn more about switching from helium to hydrogen, come join us at Axian Labs for one of our courses or check out our webinar that we did that you find on our website uh, called switching from helium to hydrogen. So uh, let us know what you feel about the, uh, the videos in the comment section and uh, come back and visit us again.